We are so excited. We're going to have so much fun, as you can see. <laughs> it's Halloween around here, and we couldn't be more excited. So thank you for joining us. We'll introduce ourselves. I'm Abby. Ryan. Taylor. <laughs> Carrie. <laughs> and we're just so happy to be here tonight. Uh, we are um, Simply Made Local. We are an online handmade virtual marketplace. Uh, for all things just unique and beautiful. So please come and check out our marketplace. But tonight we are in full gear for Halloween. We wanted to show you tonight how you can put together some really fun Halloween costumes uh, for inexpensive ways, as well as kind of last minute ways and just using things uh, you can find around your house. So we're gonna get uh, started here in just a couple minutes. We're gonna allow everybody to come on. I just want to remind everyone that if um, you would like, we are here every Thursday live on Facebook at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we put out our supply list uh, every Monday, uh, right, Carrie? <laughs> Yep. You uh, put that together for us, so thank you. Um, so you, you can see what we're doing um, for that week. So check us out on Monday. Uh, you can see what we're gonna make and that supply list. So we've got quite a few people joining us this evening and um, we're gonna let them get their supplies together and join us. But Ryan, <laughs> would you like to kind of go over what everybody's doing tonight? Well, as you can see, most of us are in costume, but not fully. <laughs> So basically, I guess I kind of had a preview kind of a thing. So we're all going to be making some cool headbands that go with whatever the rest of our costume is. For instance, I'm going to show you how to make some really cute Dia de los Muertos Mickey ears. Carrie's going to show you how to make a cool cat ear situation. Taylor's going to be doing some devil ears. And Queen Bee over there, Abby, is doing the bad witch herself. <laughs> sea witch Ursula. Yes, yeah. so I'm going to show you how to make a uh, sea witch crown, which I'm very excited. I got um, two two versions. Um, one that is a little uh, less expensive than the other version. So I'm going to show you. You got options. You got options tonight, people. <laughs> so we're really excited. But um, Taylor, can you tell everybody what is um, what is new uh, in the, our virtual marketplace this week? We had some pretty exciting additions. I'm sorry, I can't. I know, let's take a second, let's all get it out because look at Taylor. <laughs> Why not to laugh? Oh my God. Uh, we've had some really cool stuff come up this week. Um, one in particular um, that has come up, I mean, well, we have been putting up our stuff our merch. Um, that in particular was my favorite that we have put up. I mean, I'm just a little bit biased just because the designs are so cute. Um, and that was done by um, a graphic designer who I think did a fantastic job. But we are actually, um, those are for sale up on the site. Um, we are raising money because as you all know, we are going to Pinners. So that is very exciting. So you can find all of those designs or the ones that we have released at least thus far that is up on the, um, the site. Um, and we have shirts and bags and masks and all sorts of fun stuff for you guys to see. Um, and then of course we have all of our other amazing makers. There are some new signs and headbands um, and some other things um, there as well. So actually today we have some really beautiful um, chunky knit blankets that just went up today too. So make sure you guys get on there and check those, yeah, those, those out really as well. Cute. Yes, and I just want to stress to everybody, these designs, they are just so close and dear to our hearts. We um, had one of our fellow makers, My Max Designs. So you can find her on Instagram at My Max Designs. And she, um, her name is Maxine. She's incredibly talented. And she just really was able to take our vision and turn it into reality. So we are just so thankful to her. Um, you guys should definitely check out her Instagram. 
um, and follow her because she designs just the most beautiful things. And so you might find something uh, a little different that you might like that isn't um, crafty like what we put out this week. So um, I think my favorite design that we did put out was a shirt that said, um, my business is stronger than 2020. So if you guys yeah. haven't seen it, definitely check it out. We're so proud of it. We're so proud. Um, and, and I just want to take a second to say that I'm just so proud of our team and um, the other small business owners that I know that are just thriving and by, but not from not working hard, <laughs> definitely yeah. for 2020. Uh, so I, I think that we're just proud to put that on a shirt and tell the world that our business is strong, our marketplace is thriving, and we are just putting 200% every single day still working hard for you and all of the vendors in our marketplace. So please, if you're looking for a gift or a handmade item, support a local artist uh, here in the United States uh, and shop small at simplymadelocal.com. Or if you're a vendor looking for a new home, uh, an, an Etsy alternative possibly, uh, definitely come check us out. You could use code HANDMADE and get um, your first member, your first month's membership absolutely free. So with that being said, let's get started. <laughs> I'm so excited for tonight. <laughs> I don't want to smile using my teeth because it just looks so odd. <laughs> But you gotta love your hair back. You're really like the cool, like contour but effect. But it's just so sticky and like. <laughs> but yeah, like I thought what you did there on the side was really cool. I'm like, I'm trying wow, not to make awesome. normal face that you found too much. <laughs> Yeah. I think this is cool. probably going to be the funnest project um, that we've got yeah. going on. Uh, right now, I've been looking for, forward to this. Oh my gosh, somebody said they think you look like um, <laughs> Star Wars, <laughs> Taylor. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So um, I think we've been looking forward to this just because this was a a way for us to uh, enjoy Halloween. And it's one of our favorite holidays here. Um, all of us and our whole team just get so excited <laughs> this season. So, all right, I'm just about ready here. Yeah, so uh, Ryan, do you wanna go over your supplies and what you uh, need okay, for your costume? So I, this bad boy was kind of one, it was my test to see if I can still remember how to do it, but this is not exactly what I'm doing tonight, but very similar. So my basic supplies are, um, I've got just a regular headband that I covered in ribbon. So a headband ribbon, I'm using foam cord to hold the stabilizing part of the ears. I've got fabric, the, some Dia de los Muertos fabric. I got some flowers and I got some ribbon. And, you know, your basic other supplies, scissors, glue gun, and I have some stuffing to stuff the ears and make them fluffy. Mm -hmm. well, that's what I have. <laughs> um, how about you, Carrie? Carrie what'd you get for yours? Me? Yeah. Headband. <laughs> and I have, like, a lot of felt. I'm basically doing some felt ears and lots of flowers to kind of go with it. So so much felt. I and love then, how you turned into the felt master now. I love it. <laughs> I really like them, but um, I already made some ears. I can go over how I made these guys, but so we got cute. Going on, awesome. and I'm going to be making some flowers to go with it, and glue gun scissors, obviously. <laughs> Taylor. So cute. Okay, so. <laughs> so this look is supposed to be like a, a devilish, like pop art look. <laughs> so you can kind of see some of the outlining. It's just very shiny in the camera. Um, and that's what some of this is supposed to be. Anyways, so I am going to be doing just like very easy. Um, and I, I like things like this because it's very easy. It's like last minute. I am like notorious for going like, oh crap, I have like a Halloween party to get to and I like, I gotta come up with something. So yeah. these are just gonna be easy um, devil horns to just make super easy. Um, it's just a headband, red felt, 
um, you need aluminum foil and paper or um, paper towels, something to stuff inside of the foil to actually like help kind of form the horn, um, a glue gun. And then I'm gonna kind of make mine cutesy and I'm gonna be adding some red glitter, but that's just an extra step. You don't have to do that. And I'm gonna be using Mod Podge. I know that I usually make my own, but I'm skipping that step today because again, this is for me when I'm in a rush. So we're just gonna be using good old Mod Podge. Awesome. All right. So then there was me. Um, somebody, uh, Natalie, asked uh, Cruella DeVille to be a little meaner. Uh, actually, I am <laughs> Ursula this evening. So <laughs> I am the sea witch herself. And uh, I just love The Little Mermaid. It's um, my favorite Disney movie. So I thought I would do a spin this year and do Ursula. But with a little, little, little... Uh, mix into it. Um, I've got this uh, short wig, white wig here, um, and I do have a couple different options for her uh, sea crown, the sea witch crown. So in the movie, she does steal King Triton's crown, and so I am going to go with a similar look uh, with the um, the gold crown, but I, I, I'm doing it a little different. So I'm going to be creating seashells tonight um, because I did go to a couple different hobby stores and I wasn't able to find that really long spiral seashell that I was going to create as multiple horns for my crown. So I decided um, that I'm just going to mold it together with some uh, molding clay. Some awesome. molding clay. So awesome. I will be doing, um, I'll be showing you guys how to do that. And then also um, I'm going to add some accents to the crown. I'm going to do some uh, gold crystals to it as well because I just want it to be super gaudy and fancy. So I'm going to be making like crystal geodes from uh, some glue sticks. So you'll need some smaller glue sticks, uh, this about this size here. And uh, to carve the glue stick, I am using an X-Acto knife and some scissors. Got the clay. Um, I do have a little molder that came with my polymer clay kit um, and a headband and a hot glue. So that's what you'll need. And then if you want to accent it up uh, a little uh, as much as you want, I do have some sparkle glue as well as some glitter. So that's what I'll be doing. <laughs> so I think that's uh, everybody. So we can just go ahead and get started started. Uh, if you're just joining us for the first time this evening, you'll notice uh, we do things a little different, uh, a little differently here um, at Simply Made Local. We usually like to find really fun crafts every Thursday night, uh, something that's kind of trending on Pinterest. Uh, you can find our Pinterest boards at Simply Made Local on Pinterest.com if you need uh, some inspiration or need to know how to do a yeah, different craft. I made a huge, huge Halloween headband ideas board. So there is plenty to choose from. <laughs> it's so exciting. And Ryan just does a phenomenal job on Pinterest. She's got over a hundred boards up there uh, and they all just uh, look so wonderful. So if you need an idea for anything you can think of, Ryan's thought of it. One stop on shop, man. <laughs> so I love it. Thanks, Ryan. Um, <laughs> So if you're just joining us, uh, we do things four different ways. So you'll be able to, we're all going to kind of start at the same time. Uh, you can if, rewind, fast forward, and just pay attention to one craft if that's what you're interested in. Or you're going to be able to see four different costumes uh, all at once, which is really cool. So you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we try to bring you a new craft here every uh, Thursday. So if you're joining us for the first time, we want to know who you are. Please let us know in the comments below. Uh, tell us where you're uh, watching from. If you are a crafter, let us know what your favorite craft is. If you're a maker, please let us know what you sell. And feel free to put up your shop link um, so others can shop your store. Because we are makers who always love to support other makers. So let's get started. Okay. <laughs> Ryan, what do you, do you have a first step you're ready to dive into? Yeah, here, let me uh, tilt my uh, camera on now. So, okay, first steps first, cover the headband in whatever color ribbon that coordinates with what you got. 
Um, I have two different patterns. One is for the actual ear for the foam board. I got this at mydisneyvacation.com and I just printed it off, cut it out. And then the other piece is for the fabric. It's a little bit bigger and has this little flap because that's what's gonna wrap around the bottom of the headband, to hold it in place. And I got that at wikihow.com. So there are those. I already cut out the foam board and I already cut out the, for the second piece of fabric. So what I will do is just uh, glue this on down to the foam board and then stuff it. All right, so I'm getting started with my seashell. Um, now I will show you what I already created. So I already did all of the supplies ahead of time just to save time with the um, spray painting process because I did use, oh, that is another supply I didn't mention. Um, I did use spray paint to uh, spray paint all the pieces gold. And um, I did get that from Michael's. I think it was a Krylon. Uh, metallic gold is what I used. So let's see here. So this is what I've created, a seashell. <laughs> and I've got them in different, um, I've got them in different sizes. So it's going to be multiple uh, shells that are kind of creating that horn effect. So I'm going to show you how to kind of mold that. And what I thought was really cool is you could really make this into anything, um, any colors to any decor. So I thought that was really neat. And I already had the polymer clay, so I didn't spend any money um, on that. But before I get started with this, I did want to mention if you are looking for something with this look um, that is really inexpensive, I've looked out and at the Dollar Tree right now, they do have crowns. And this Ooh, one actually cool. even lights up too, which is so neat. Look at that. So I would be able to be seen cool. in the dark, especially kids. So I think this is a really um, good uh, piece right now um, at the Dollar Tree. If you're looking for a costume that is princess or anything for little children because if it lights up, they can be seen. So I'm actually gonna put that on right now. That cost a dollar. I did spray paint that with the gold paint. So you could be um, one dollar and done. But I'm gonna show you how to make uh, your own <laughs> from scratch using that clay. So if I'll do it here on the camera and you can kind of watch, but first I'm just gonna kind of get that cone shape and then I'll show you how to get uh, that shell groove to it. Awesome. I've got my cat ears on. How'd you make those cat ears, <laughs> Carrie? I found a template <laughs> because I like to cheat. Um, I cut them out uh, according to the template and I actually doubled up my felt because this is pretty stiff felt, but I figured a double layer would hurt. And then I had a template also for the inner ear part. So these are all just hot glued together. Easy peasy. And then probably placing them, I think, was the hardest right now because I wanted to make sure they were even. And I'm not sure if I got it quite right. So I might adjust them, but pretty easy to do. <laughs> the flowers are going to be the hard part. Me. <laughs> Okay, once I have both my ears attached to foam and stuffed with some fabric, I'm just gonna glue them together. <laughs> How about you, Taylor? What are you starting with? I took my paper towel and I kind of just bunched it like this. Um, kind of like this and kind of the shape of a, a horn. And then I took my piece of foil and wrapped it around and now I am just wrapping my piece of um, felt around trying to glue it and make it into a horn shape but I'm just trying to get it to where I'm going to be able to cover it all with the felt. Awesome. So the idea here is to kind of get like a cone um, shape going on. Make mention to the diameter of your base so that um, you keep in mind that it's going to fit um, on your headband here. So as you roll it out and you're getting that cone shape, I'm kind of pressing down on the cone just to keep it firm. And then you want to roll it out and onto a point or not too much of a point yet. Um, 
So I kind of have it kind of thick. So now using the palm of my hand, I'm going to take and I'm going to start to twist the clay. Mm. And it's kind of hard to see with the glare a little bit, but as you start to twist, you're pushing. So you twist and you push and you twist and you push. And as you twist and push, let me try to get a good angle here with the lighting. You're creating, um, let's see. <laughs> you kind of see that you're kind of creating grooves um, and that 3D effect of, of the shell. So I'm just going to keep twisting and pushing back down. And then you're going to get all the way to the end here. And then that's when you can really twist. And you're just going to kind of get it to a, a point. And, and there you go. You have that spiral seashell. Very cool. It's just so neat. And then with the polymer clay, I like to use the one that's oven baked. So I would just throw this in the oven um, for uh, 30 minutes and then let it completely dry. And then you can spray paint it. So then you're going to have um, your different shells here spray painted. So now I'm going to glue these right onto the crown. And I am just uh, gluing the ribbon into the center to kind of cover up the seam of my two ears. Um, I've got my felt flowers going. Okay, so I've got these petals pre-cut that I actually found a cute little template for it to make it a little easier on myself. So I cut all these out earlier. And then um, with this inner piece, I just cut out a strip and you can see I kind of fringed. I just cut little pieces down to about there because I want it kind of fringy. And then now I'm just gonna roll and glue. And this is gonna be the center of my flower. Uh, and Maybe. this can also be a unicorn people. <laughs> Yeah, if you yeah, want to uh, do a unicorn, for go for that clay, put those flowers, ball. and you've got that unicorn. <laughs> Two and one. Yeah, first that's, thing I saw, it, that's immediately, I was like, it's a unicorn hard. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm just gluing and rolling at the bottom here. Let's see how this goes. This is actually, I think, the technique that Taylor did in our tutorial from last year for the felt flowers. Oh, yes, for fall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one's actually, a, um, that one's a pretty good one um, if you need a, an easy way to fill the middle. Yeah. I like that one. Mess with it a little so it's got a little more. All right, now I'm, I'm just trying to decide, now that both my ears are done, I'm trying to decide like what the placement's gonna be. Do I, where do I put my ears? I swear the, that was well. the hardest part for me too. Like I'm, I think I'm I got Mod podging. I'm glittering <laughs> and I'm mod podging. Oh, are I'm you gonna cover the whole uh, felt with glitter? I'm going to attempt to. You know, I'm down for that for sure. I know. This is very unlike me. <laughs> so for the one that I'm wearing now, you could definitely put your own spin on this one too if you wanted to use this as a base. You could put some seashells here at the base. You could also put some big uh, glittery gems, things like that. You could also incorporate some red or teal or purple to kind of tie um, Ursula back in. So <laughs> I'm just having too much fun with this one. So here is it so far, and we're going to have uh, two more here on each end. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make some uh, crystal geodes that uh, look like crystals, but they're made from glue sticks. And I'm going to be adding those um, kind of in between to just really give it that wow, wow look. <laughs> Okay, so the cool thing is that those little flaps I was talking about that are in my pattern. I'm just gonna kind of sit the ribbon, the um, headband down, and just wrap them 
each over and glue down so that um, that's what attaches the earpiece to the headband. Okay. Here go petals. <laughs> I'm doing half the petal to this inner piece. And then I'm gonna kind of layer these guys. Okay, I think I've got all of my seashells um, on. And I am just loving the way that this is turning out. That is really cool. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. That looks so like the movie. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, yeah, I'm really happy. And then I would probably, um, when I'm done going over the, the, all of this, I, I would probably go ahead and spray paint it all again is probably what I'm going to do. That or I'll probably touch it up with some white paint. Uh, or, I'm sorry, gold paint. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make those um, those geodes the crystals because what uh witch would be without her crystals <laughs> so you're going to take a regular um glue stick and we're going to make some rough edges to it so all i'm going to do to start and you're going to keep these shavings the glue shavings to the side because you are going to use those um at the base so all i'm doing is i'm just going to be scraping down that glue stick just like that kind of getting um let me show you here some larger pieces so you can see here i'm kind of scraping off a piece you want to keep these shavings so i'm going to keep that off to the side and i'm just going to kind of create you want to be very careful because you're using an exacto knife i just want to put that out there um, so yeah. you want to just um kind of create rough edges you want to get rid of that roundness uh, all the way through My flowers coming together. Oh, how cute. <laughs> I love it. So once you've um, completely sh shaved that, you're going yeah. to have a really raw looking uh, piece of glue. So then you're going to do two different steps. You're going to create little pieces, which are going to be the base of where the crystals go. And how you're going to do that is you're just going to cut jagged pieces all the way down the glue gun. And I did this um, in different shapes. And you can do this with an X-Acto knife or you can do it with scissors um, in different shapes. Just please be careful. And you'll probably want to use a surface that you can cut on. So you wanna create pieces um, that are about this size and that they're jagged all the way around. Then for your geode, your crystal, I'm sorry, you're gonna create uh, different pieces that are about this length and do probably two different lengths. So I'm just gonna cut that to get that started. And then you wanna create a really jagged um, top. So I'm just going to kind of cut a little bit more, really making it not symmetrical in any way. Give it a flat top and just really, shave some of those pieces, the, the sides, so that it's not uniform in any way because crystals aren't. <laughs> that is true. So you're gonna end up with something uh, that looks a little bit like that. So now you're gonna put the, all those pieces to the side and I spray painted them. So now I'm gonna bring those in and you're gonna see something that looks a little bit like this. This is a finished product, so you're gonna see See, this is one of the crystals, um, is another crystal. Oh, that's really cool. That's amazing. Yeah, they turned out really good. And uh, you can do this with clear. You can keep the glue stick clear and just paint the bottom of the geode, which is these little pieces. Remember that I told you to do a little, some little pieces. So we're going to kind of create the base um, with these little chunks. And then we're going to have the uh, crystals coming out 
of that base. And then we're gonna sprinkle some of those shavings right on top to kind of make it look really, really rough and natural. So what I'm gonna start doing is applying these little pieces first, and I'm just gonna cover the headband that's um, exposed. So I'm gonna do that in between the shelves. Shelves. <laughs> I think I'm gonna add an extra layer and I discovered a little happy accident here with this flower. It was too tight. Again, I tend to do this with my flowers for some reason. So I kind of just folded the felt pieces out and it became the flower I wanted. So that's what's well, that's going awesome. on. Well, that's top. awesome. The so I'm a little myself right now. <laughs> All right, you guys, I need your opinion. Just these flowers? Oh, or should I try to make the blue fit in there somewhere? I, I think like I like the three. three. Just those three? Yeah. Yeah. Man, I worked hard for that blue flower too, huh, Taylor? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, that's good. I think that that looks a little a little better with just the three anyway. So I'm just trying to fit all the pieces kind of in no uniform uh, way, just whatever, it's like Tetris going on. Um, <laughs> in whatever way I can get uh, the little pieces to fit. And having the glue um, on the base kind of show through is, is good too. So you don't necessarily have to cover it all. Yeah. I know that's like my ears didn't come out perfectly. There's little bits here that aren't completely glued down perfectly, but since I'm putting all these little flowers around it, you won't even know. Oh, but that's also the cool thing. It's your <laughs> creation. It doesn't matter if it's perfect. Right. I keep telling myself that, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting all those glued pieces on here. And then I'll probably go and sprinkle on some silver or some glitter just to make it uh, pop out. But I'm really liking the effect that it's giving because it's making it look like gold chunks. Very cool. I really like this crown that you're making. <laughs> oh, this crown? Yeah. Oh, cool. Thanks. <laughs> oh, this old thing? Oh, this thing? <laughs> okay. Thanks. Hmm. I think I should just leave it this way or if I should pop it out, but I think I want it more flat. So. This glue, using this glue gun is now always going to make me think of our the shirts that we did this week. Um, if you have not seen the Simply Made Local uh, merchandise, please go on over to the site simplymadelocal.com and check out our profile. You can uh, find us by searching Simply Made Local in the search bar, or you can find all of our things that are um, nicely uh, displayed in our new arrivals section, which anybody who is new to the site all of your products will be featured um, in that category first, as well as the category that you designate your products to be in. We have one of our bags. Um, we have a craft bag, a craft tote bag. So if you guys are sh um, currently shopping for people in your life and you don't know what to get somebody who absolutely loves to craft, let me tell you guys, this craft tote bag is the perfect gift because um, if you're like me or like Ryan or Taylor, we love to take our crafts on the go. So to have a nice big spacious bag that lets us put all of our supplies in is just so neat. And yeah, um, every time every Christmas rolls around and my family is always, hey, what do you want for Christmas? You know, and I'm like, uh, just give me a gift card to the craft store. But this year I'm definitely saying, hey, <laughs> Buy me one of these bags <laughs> so I can have one in every single print for myself. Right. That is such a good idea, too. I've never thought of asking any uh, family to get me a gift card to, like, Hobby Lobby or Michaels. That's, that would be so fun for me. That's what I ask for every year. I'm not even kidding you. 
And you guys, my is mine is done. And if I would have got this at Disneyland, how much would it have cost me? So much money. $39.99. Yes, at least $30. So this actually cost me uh, $3 for the flowers. And that was just because I didn't have any bright, colorful ones. I only had like fall ones, but I had all of the other supplies. So there you go. Yeah, with Love this it. one, um, I only purchased the headband, which was actually 50 cents because it came in a two pack and I shared with Carrie. So it was 50 cents for that. Um, I already had the clay. Um, I did buy the spray paint. So that was $7 and I already had the glue stick. So this, I mean, you can't even really say it costs $7 for the, for the uh, spray paint because I'll use it again. So yeah. this was very inexpensive, but yeah, like that's said, one of those good last minute uh, oh gosh, I have been super busy. What am I going to be for Halloween? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but like I said, if you're looking for something super, super simple, $1. <laughs> so I remind you of that. <laughs> oh, Lexi says hi. And Benny says hi. Hi, Benny. Oh, hi, Benny. Happy Halloween. Okay. So now I've got um, that base of the crystal down. So now I'm going to glue on the crystals that I made. So these are the crystals and I'm just going to place them right in the middle um, of those smaller pieces. So. Lexi, make sure that you um, show him that TT is in full face makeup. <laughs> <laughs> And also, mine went so fast, I'm making another pair of ears. <laughs> um, and what I was um, going to say was, with that craft bag, we did it in a design that said feeling the burn. And that's what it brought it up for me is because I'm using my favorite glue gun, which is the Sure Bonder. Uh, but also, feeling the burn, yes, always. I always find a way to... Um, burn myself. I need to get smart like Taylor and Ryan because they use um, finger covers. The little know, silicone finger those? covers. Yeah. They're silicone finger covers. They come in a three pack at the dollar store. Yeah. Uh, great. That's smart. <laughs> my little horns, my little horns are done, but they are drying. Cute. Cute. I'm so excited that they have glitter on them. Me too, actually. So I mean, because if you can't be glittery at Halloween, when can you be? I know. So I'm just going <laughs> to, when I'm finished, glue them. He can't stop staring, Lexi said. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> what happened to Gigi? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to make another just little random flower for the side, I think. See how this one works out. <laughs> I'm trying to go with a theme with these colors here. I'm not sure how it's gonna. What's your theme? Cat. Yeah, fall <laughs> colors. Cat. Fall, fall <laughs> cat. Fall cat. Pumpkin spice kitty. So I'm thinking something like this for one of the flowers, like on the side. I'm just making stuff up as I go here, guys. <laughs> my my huge. <laughs> you do well with that. <laughs> we'll see how these flowers come out. All right. So I'm really liking um, that. That's so cool. <laughs> Now but I, I think it definitely them. needs glitter um, on the crystal pieces. So, oh, and then now I can um, sprinkle some of this uh, you know, kind of confetti like that I made out of those blue shavings. So I'm going to just sprinkle uh, those on with some of the glue. Woo, I'm getting caught up in glue, hot glue strings. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Crafty spider webs, right? Yeah. yeah. Basically. I get, always get up from the craft table and then they stick to my feet. <laughs> I'm like, ah. <laughs> I'm just going to fill in. Hi, Christine. I'm going to fill in um, 
some of these Sorry, pieces. Sorry, you stop staring. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Christine. My craft is done, Christine. I'm doing devil horns. That's what I'm going to be. They're just drying. So. <laughs> Look, I made Disney ears, Christine, for when we can finally go back to Disneyland. Yay! Oh, someday, girl, someday. someday. Okay, I don't know if I should fan this out, like, huge. Um, or go a little more controlled. I go medium. <laughs> I suppose I can change it depending on my mood, too. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Lauren says, come to Disney World. Oh, yeah, it's open. She, yeah, so she's dying for me to come visit. That's why. Also, <laughs> yes, so all of our amazing merch is from uh, Lauren, my best friend, her Ooh. amazing business promo merch now. So if you need any cool merch, check her out because she is hooking yes. us up. Fantastic. Absolutely. So she does um, everything that you can think of, all promotional yeah. items to help so you to awesome. promote your business. So we're talking shirts, um, shoes, they got things that light up, any kind of bag you can think of, uh, face masks, all sorts of items that are just really, really cool. They got fast um, design and shipping. So if that's something that you need uh, to get your business promoted, please check them out on Instagram at promo merch now. Okay, I'm just about to, I'm gonna put that on there. Yes, Christine, I do have good uh, face blog. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry. If not, she knows what we'll be all day. <laughs> Best day out. Okay. Be whole, okay. True. okay. Just burning my fingers off. <laughs> my husband joined us. I want him to come see Taylor. <laughs> I got one flower on. <laughs> oh my gosh, these girls look amazing. <laughs> what a good so person to do. Taylor. Gary. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm the happiest devil there ever was. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 it's not time. Christine, Christine plans on doing um oh, hi. <laughs> um Christine plans on doing the Hocus Pocus craft book tomorrow. So um that is a really fun craft that we did recently. You can check that out on our YouTube channel at Simply Made Local. You're going to find uh, the Hocus Pocus inspired book of spells that we made for $3, people, $3. It is an authentic book that you, you just wouldn't believe. So if you haven't seen that video, you're going to want to see that one. Christine, you have to send us photos of your finished yes. product. Yes. 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 Tag us, please. We'd love yeah. to see Tiger. Um, those, we got a really big response on our fall tie dye sweatshirts. Uh, we had quite a few people submit their, uh, reverse tie dye, uh, shirts and sweaters. So that was also a really fun one. You'll find that one on our YouTube channel as well, but we love when you guys follow along with us and you, uh, make that craft. We, we want to see it. So be sure to post that. Um, you can post that in our group, uh, all things crafty was simply made local or you can tag us um, on Instagram. So I have the crown um, all done. So I'm just debating now um, if I want to put some glitter uh, kind of all in and around uh, the gold and not. The, the geodes. So I, I think, think it definitely <laughs> needs glitter because Ursula is underwater shimmering away. So I think it needs glitter. All right, so then I'm gonna get some, some glitter on there. <laughs> I'm going to use. That looks um, amazing, Abby. Blue. You know, that's very cool. <laughs> really awesome. Highly impressed here. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I had a lot of fun. Um, I had a lot of fun with this one. So I think <laughs> what my goal is, is that all the places that are kind of still have that exposed uh, glue, as you can kind of oh, see yeah. here. I'm gonna go over that with the glitter glue. So it's gonna kind of look like the, the, the glitter is um, at the base. So that's what I'll be doing over here. I'm just getting these guys done. 
so far, this is what we got. I'm going to try with some leaves in here. I might do another type of flower. I'm not sure how floral I want to make this yet, but I really have fun making flowers, so I might just make more just to have fun. <laughs> there you go. I I decision, decision girls. That it's really very relaxing. It pop. Very cool. <laughs> Look, Taylor, look how cute it is. Oh, I love it. I cannot wait. <laughs> it's adorable, I Ryan. I love the leopard. Anyone who knows me knows that that is my other obsession other than black, and nothing goes better with black than leopard. Yes, mine too. I have just I been obsessed with that this season better. as well. I love it so much. <laughs> I was not thinking about animal print tonight. So I totally feel like um, <laughs> if anyone has seen Mean Girls, when she does her first um, American Halloween and she doesn't realize that like high school Halloween is when you're supposed to show up like really cute and she shows up and, and goes full like vampire, know, I think, scary. or something, right? Yeah. And she's like she's dead bride. Funny. Oh, and she goes like yeah. full dead bride and she doesn't realize. Anyways, that's how I feel. Like I came I'm to the high school enough. party, <laughs> I, I, like full scary. <laughs> I was actually going to do mine a little scarier and my husband was like, no, that's not you. Do pink and glittery and stuff. He didn't like it. <laughs> I just went with like a like lot of hair. <laughs> well, like more scary, spooky. Like, I don't know. Last year was very um, tame for me as far as costumes go. So, what? Okay. So, now that I've seen you for a couple of Halloweens, you had a full face paint last year, too, didn't you? Um, no, we just had like a blue nose or something, right? Wasn't yeah. Sure? Last year, I was just the, I was the ox. I was an ox. But in the year before that, I was a full face painted skeleton, which yeah. was totally in my wheelhouse. But yeah, no, last year, last year I was an ox, which I wasn't like stoked about because it wasn't spooky. <laughs> I was a witch last year. I kind of phoned it in. But I had <laughs> my husband I was my and my daughter as a fox. So I had my familiars. It was a I game. I haven't been anything scary in a few years. I mean, last year I was freaking uh, Barbie. And the year before that, I was Mary Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> the <least scary> people ever. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've ever been a witch with last year, actually. So, witch is my jam. That's what I'm trying to go for this year. Witch. It is an easy oh. one to put together. Oh, look at that witch. Um, there you go. That witch. So rad. That looks so good. Hard to kind of bend down a little bit with the wig on. Let's see. <laughs> And there you go. That is the Ursula Sea Witch Sea Crown. And feel free to embellish it any which way. I almost went with some pearls on there. I almost went with some big jewels. Um, you could do gold glitter. Jewels would have been cool. Yes, you could also put some seashells on there and uh, spray paint those gold. But like I said, I didn't have any seashells. That's why I improvised with the clay. And I'm actually really happy that I did that. I think that if I were to do it over again, oh, oh hello. <laughs> if I were to do that over again, I would um, probably do the clay again as well. Um, just because I like that I was able to create yeah, you that, effect make it that you might not get um, with a package of seashells. So, all right. Where, let me see your horns, uh, Taylor. I didn't get to see those. I was really yeah. in the They're drying. Oh, they're drying. They're covered in Mod Podge. <laughs> okay, well, you're going to be able to see um, these finished yeah, crowns in all their glory um, over the next couple days. So please stay tuned um, to our Instagram and our Facebook at... My seashell fell off. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right. We're going to okay. that well, back on. Like, that a little bit more. Um, that's actually cool, just like that, too. 
um, you'll be able to see those finished products <laughs> um, on our Instagram and our Facebook at Simply Made Local, <laughs> as well as our YouTube channel next week when we get this um, up on our page. So please uh, go ahead and subscribe and like those videos on YouTube. We really appreciate your support. We put a lot of hard work into that. And we're really proud of them. So thank you for following along with us on our journey. And uh, be sure to support a local artist um, in our virtual marketplace at simplymadelocal.com. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week here um, on Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.